So what's going on toxic gamers today we gotta talk about black ops 6 zombies because ever since we have seen the very first map gameplay people have been bricked up right but then activision showed us the second map the map looking like multiplayer warzone dmz rehash especially with the hud man a lot of people went crazy after that okay people started saying that they're gonna cancel their pre-order thank you for subscribing people started saying that they're gonna cancel their pre-order this and that and the situation has been crazy okay like the video if you just want zombies feeling like zombies right and you don't want like zombies feeling like multiplayer look at that this was the the bonus map that we had nine years ago nine years ago all the way back in black ops 3 damn it ever since that we had black ops 4 we had black ops 5 which was black ops cold war that was black ops 5 okay and now we're getting black ops 6 and zombies is not looking that good at least for the second map we're gonna get right into it dislike the video if you want zombies feeling like multiplayer i want to know where you at like for zombies being like zombies dislike if you want zombies looking like uh, multiplayer but uh oh shout out to the homie chopper roll this should you be buying call of duty black ops 6 to play zombies this year is it worth getting should you even invest your time and energy into this game mode well that's what we're gonna try to answer today the online discourse around around bo6 zombies has been so divisive over the past yeah. week i would say and it's gone from let's go yeah this this is the intro cutscene for the second map and this cutscene definitely you know hit people in the g spot and a lot of people were like wow wow it's crazy it's crazy right and when people saw the map everybody started looking like this everybody started looking like <laughs> People are looking like this, myself included, man. These seconds are crazy for years, man. For years. Why? But the main map does look good, and I want to talk about that too in a bit. Well, lads, we are so back to it's it's zombies is literally over. Like it's it's done. It's just so funny to see the reception of a trailer that was one of the hypest zombie trailers of all yeah, time to get Damn. such a mediocre reception of the actual map. And on the other side of that coin, another map that got received Bruh. very well for its gameplay, the trailer doesn't even have a single zombie in it. So what's yeah. going on here? Is Black Ops 6 zombies good? Do the maps... Now, here's the thing. Right now, man, like, I'm actually hella suspect about this first map gameplay that we saw as well, guys, because you look at that no hud that's why it looks very good right maybe with the hud it's not gonna feel that good maybe but here's the thing though you can always turn off the hud so that's a w right there but what if this map gameplay isn't even gameplay this is like pre-rendered gameplay yeah right what if that happens because companies do that all the time cyberpunk initial gameplay was apparently pre-rendered it was fake gameplay it was fake gameplay the day before or the day before yeah the day before the yeah copied from the last of us and all that right the day before the gameplay was fake and all that so i i don't know man i simply put i don't know playstation 5 abandoned game that we never even heard about that was also a fake game but of course this is call of duty so yeah it's not gonna be like fake 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 though but but still like what if this gameplay that we saw from the first map was beefed up with rtx 50 billion which don't even exist what if this was pre-rendered that's the thing man i hope it's like that but suck are, are they bad is black ops 6 even worth buying for zombies is anyone even watching this video anyways so in all seriousness with black ops 6 on the horizon and so many people trying to determine if Damn. zombies this year is going to be a good fit for them i feel like i wanted to impart a, a lot of what uh, my experience with this game is because at this point i have gotten hands-on and pretty extensive hands-on with with both Terminus and Liberty Falls. These are okay. the two zombies maps that will be present on launch, and they are both very different. This does look good, man. Graphically speaking, there's a night and day difference. Why the other maps look so pixelated and bad? I get that, like, it was, uh, it was streamed, but I, I suppose, like, this is uh, his HD gameplay. This is not from the stream, right? This is, like, he recorded that video. Why does it look that bad in comparison to this? I'm, I'm not understanding that point and that aspect alone and, and before you say that both of these gameplays were watching them on youtube both of them were uploaded on youtube so yes there is compression on youtube i get that but therefore the compress uh, compression should exist on this map as well of these two being very different from a stylistic perspective from a gameplay standpoint and many other angles uh terminus and liberty falls are very contrasted to one another and uh -huh. i think that's intentional so that's been a little bit of a heated debate we'll get to that a bit later but i want to start talking about first of all what is black Ops six zombies just from a big picture if you're trying to absorb what this game is going to be about this is essentially a sequel to cold war zombies and what i mean by that is many of the mechanics and gameplay systems that were introduced in cold war specifically have either been refined they've been tuned or they've been advanced in some way and that was not an accident either cold war was right. setting the foundation for where they wanted to take zombies so it should be no surprise that black ops 6 in more ways than one is a sequel to cold war however it seems they've taken a lot of the criticisms of cold war zombies to heart and have tried to rectify them to some extent and we're going to talk about a lot of those details later but there will be two maps on launch we know this right terminus okay. and liberty falls and once again these are very different terminus is self-described by no, no different people are not mad with maps being different right like that's and people are also not necessarily mad with the map 
being small. In fact, people like smaller maps too. You know, back in the days, we had five zombies map. Guess what? It was a smaller map, but it felt like zombies though. That's the thing though. It felt like zombies. You had the giant, the really small ass map. No Easter egg. We had like smaller Easter eggs, but like no main Easter egg, right? So yeah, people don't give a damn. It was a fun map to play solo or with friends to level up guns and all that. And it felt good. It felt zombies. The, the HUD is looking very good as well. Very minimal, but very good as well. It's almost as though you got no HUD, right? It, it's just immersive. It, it, re it really is immersive. You see the care put into it and we're not getting any i mean we're hearing that there's no pack a punch uh, uh, like animation either yeah there is none but here's the thing though they're saying that it's for the gameplay purposes we want you to pack a punch and get the weapon immediately okay like i'm not mad about that i'm not mad about that but the perks looking really really bad i'm talking about the perk machines okay whatever about that uh the biggest thing here is that the map is feeling like multiplayer that's the biggest issue right now yeah, it doesn't matter if it's a small map or a big map, it just feels like multiplayer and that's the biggest issue from people. Like the video if you agree, just like if you disagree. But uh oh, wait for it. Arc as being the much harder, more complicated, difficult map with tons of depth. Yeah, you see, perfect moment. There's no animation, but it's well, fine, it's fine because like I, I guess they're doing it so you don't have to wait that long. Okay, whatever. Uh, some people would like this change, some people would not. I uh, okay, but but we just want the map feeling like zombies, right? They even told us at Treyarch that this map is going to have just as many, if not more, side Easter eggs than Shadows of Evil, which is one of the most densely packed Easter egg maps of all time. I think okay. a lot of us know that. I don't know what the Doubt, count is for but... Liberty Falls or, or really where that you know takes place, but essentially what I see them doing with these two maps is Terminus is their very depthful, complicated map, their deep experience. And Liberty Falls is the map that you just jump on, load up zombies, and kill stuff. There's not really a whole lot going on, not too complicated of a setup. If you just want to jump on for a few minutes and shoot zombies, then this is the map for you. This is exactly like how Black Ops 3 had it with Shadows of Evil and the Giant. Shadows of Evil was a very different and complex map for the time that certainly pushed us out of our comfort zone, whereas yeah. the Giant was yeah. the comfortable, casual... Ca I agree with that, and you know what? I, I ain't even mad with the small maps, and what I'm seeing is that people are not mad with the small maps. People just want the maps feeling like zombies. Simple, simple. That's where people are at. That's where people are at. I felt like this split in separation was one of the keys to success that Black Ops 3 had. I mean, on top of just having fantastic, well-made, amazing maps, obviously, but this casual counterbalance with the more complicated, depthful experience, I feel like uh, really, you know, served a broad base because there was something for everyone and there was different flavors of zombies, which is very important. And that's the thing is Liberty Falls is a very different flavor to Terminus. Now, Terminus was the first map that we ever played at Treyarch. It was our absolute first impressions of the game. And the thing is, they told us from the very get-go that their goal with Black Ops 6 Zombies is to make the mode as accessible as possible. Now, I'm not saying this is a good or bad thing. I'm not making a judgment call on whether or not they should be doing this for the mode, because I think there's positives and negatives to both aspects. I'm just letting you know that their main goal with BO6 Zombies... Now, now it's fine if you want to, like, appeal to everybody, but you gotta understand that if you try to appeal to everybody, you're gonna end up making the game for nobody, right? Simple as that. I'm not too uh, mad about, or I, I guess people would be fine if, like, yeah, I mean, I want to see more people play zombies, I want the zombies community to grow, I think it's a good thing, but not at the expense of the map feeling like multiplayer. I guess what they, what these seconds did was, that, hey, man, we want more people to uh, jump on on the game, I guess in the back of their mind, they were like, hey, we want more Warzone players jump on zombies, therefore let's make the map Warzone. Bruh. Like, bruh, bruh, like, what the hell? Dog, you you know what? Like make zombie maps like zombies, a and then you can also have you know Black Ops Cold War for example. It had it, it put onslaught. I believe that was that was the the name of the mode. Basically, they put like zombies uh, on multiplayer map as well, or you could play zombies on multiplayer maps in the onslaught mode, right? Yeah, I would not mind that. Indeed, I wouldn't mind like them having the entire Warzone map being played as zombies too, where, you know, simple as, simply put Modern Warfare 3, right? The, the DMZ zombies, like simple as that. They said that it's gonna be a new experience, new experience ended up being like Warzone rehash zombies, right? I wouldn't mind that either, as long as the, the zombies mode is zombies, okay? You can keep like both of these maps zombie zombies, all right? Not like zombies and multiplayer warzone rehash and all that. Keep them zombies for like four years and, and we're only getting two maps. Like, come on now, man. Like, let, let us have like two good maps, right? People were asking for at least three maps, but a lot of people then were like, okay, man, if both of these maps uh, feel like zombies, then that's fine. And you know what? Fair. But, but you can have zombies on multiplayer maps and also on warzone too to cater to those players and once they are into it they can come on zombies and they're gonna get that unique experience and guess what that's gonna make your game last longer because if every mode feels the same 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 people gonna jump shift fast 
this is one of the biggest problem with today's video games you know x defined initially i believe it, I, I heard 11 million people downloaded and try to play but now it's like yeah nobody's playing that game why because no novelty factor the game is dry as hell right now people are not finding content and sa same thing happened with modern warfare 3 last year call of duty van garbage as well call of duty vanguard although people enjoyed its gameplay aspect and call of duty gameplay has always been good okay like that's the biggest uh plus point of call of duty gameplay 60 fps always good but w you see like zombies wasn't that good so people played and then peaced out black ops 3 zombies on the other hand people still play it to this day why because it's unique okay it can hold on its own people loved it right and, and you still keep people still keep on playing this because it's wildly different from warzone and multiplayer if black ops 6 zombies feels like zombies then guess what whenever people are burnt out on multiplayer they're gonna play zombies whenever people burnt out on zombies they're gonna play multiplayer or maybe even hop on warzone vice versa if you're burnt out on warzone you're gonna play zombies right but if you're burnt out on warzone and you want to try something new you're gonna jump on zombies but if but but if zombies feels like warzone it's like it's not gonna help help those players they're just gonna play once or twice and they're gonna peace out so it's not gonna help anybody uh to be fair though like the video if you agree dislike if you disagree i want to know where you guys at but was to make this a very accessible game mode because even with easter eggs they were telling us in black ops cold war which you know many zombie fans consider to be one of the easier games as far as easter eggs and main quests go treyarch said that they want to ideally increase the completion rate of easter eggs as much as possible in older zombie games say black ops 2 3 and 4 uh the completion rates for easter eggs were genuinely like single digits maybe two to eight percent max of players of the game were completing a map's main quest now to some extent i think an argument can be made that that's kind of the appeal of an easter egg it's the fact that not everybody yeah. knows about it yeah. or can even do it and it's kind of oh man even i'd never done like all the easter eggs for all the maps but i loved watching the hunts i love watching the streams and i love playing it for myself and going for high rounds like that's what i cared about like uh but, and i loved learning about the story not necessarily doing the easter egg but learning about the story but there are players that love it right it's like the it's a challenge it's a challenge so gotta have a little bit of both gotta have that balance i feel like their eyes and drach that the rise and drag map was apparently one of the best that the best gameplay perspective zombies map felt like zombies yeah now it is shocker shocker you gotta say it that way right zombies map felt like zombies what are we talking about man like now this multiplayer it, it's multiplayer zombies feeling like multiplayer but back in the days yeah zombies felt like zombies the rise and drag perfect i mean shadows of evil oh hell i love this map i know initially people had criticism even for this map i get that part people didn't like it in the very very beginning but you know what like it, it has aged like a fine wine people love this map and nowadays people love this map even more why because we don't get maps like that anymore we don't get zombies maps feeling like zombies anymore thank you for subscribing appreciate it gang gang people just want zombies map feeling like zombies like simply simply put bro like keep it simple zombies should be zombies simple Kind of like this thing that makes the mode special if you know about it. It's the survival game mode on top of if you have enough knowledge and you're interested enough that you know that there's this hidden layer of something really cool underneath. I mean, that is by definition what an Easter egg is. And again, traditionally yeah. in zombies, an Easter egg completion, it, it was almost like a badge. It was something to hold and, and be proud of. You know, if you if you know a map's Easter egg, you've done it before. It's kind of like this badge of honor that you know something a little more than the average player about the map. Now, that's not really the case anymore, right? They have mm -hmm. their main quest, but it's not really an Easter egg. It's more or less like the path that they want you to take and it's a yeah, very different approach right. to what zombie easter eggs have been traditionally speaking now the thing is i remember making a criticism in my cold war review where i suggested that maybe the way that zombies needs to go is you know per given zombies map you have a main quest and then you have a proper easter egg right the main quest allows them to tell their story hit the proper they got armor and zombies too. Rips, rip, homie. Yeah, multiplayer wars on. There we go, bro. Beats that they want to convey to the player, bring them into. Oh man! <laughs> Look at that. This was so good, man. This this hyped everybody up, bro. This is the intro uh, cutscene for this map. We got Rick Toffin out here with the Wonder Waffle, right? Look this at that. World storytelling, etc. And the Easter egg is this other hidden layer that is more of a traditional zombies Easter egg. It's this thing that not everybody's gonna know about and do. It's very hidden. It's secretive, but it's kind of like a badge of honor if you. You know about it and you know how to do it it's something yeah. that kind of makes 
Uh, uh, to be fair to this one, it does look good. It does look very good. I hope there's no gacha moment with this one. This is the first thing I said when I first watched the gameplay. Said that the gameplay looked good. And I hope there's no gacha moment. So far, the gacha moment is the second Liberty Balls, man. <laughs> that blue balled everybody, man. Uh, but, but, but I hope this is not pre-rendered gameplay. I hope this is actual gameplay, guys. Because you don't know. In this day and age, man, with video games, you don't know. Because right now, I'd I be feeling like the other map that, uh, you know, the second map, Liberty Balls, that's like their true gameplay. And this is pre-rendered. I really hope it's not pre-rendered, guys. Thoughts? Makes the mode feel special and gives it a lot of that personality, makes you feel attached to it. I don't think the main quests are necessarily the best way to get players invested in the mode. I'm not entirely convinced of that. And I've been thinking about this a lot ever since I played Black Ops 6 Zombies because it's such a core part of what they're doing with this year's direction of zombies. They want to make the mode as accessible as possible, for better or for worse, and they want as many players as possible completing the main quest. And it seems like, in a way, this has a good angle because it's almost like they met me halfway. The suggestion that I made about the splitting of the main quest and proper Easter egg is kind of what they're doing. Zombies map is going to launch and in this case terminus and liberty falls will be there when black Ops 6 comes out and these maps will both have their respective main quests there will be no hints on how to complete this it's going to be a proper easter egg hunt for the zombies community okay. to enjoy and then after a couple of weeks both maps are going to get something called directed mode this used to be called guided mode but they've changed the wording on it a little bit and directed mode for every single player if you choose to play in that particular playlist will literally just walk you through the main quest it'll give you objective markers it'll cap the round until you like complete a certain step you know it'll walk you through the entire process of doing that maps quest now there are different rewards obviously for doing the easter egg without directed mode and stuff like that so i can tell they're still trying to make both the hunt and playing the easter egg in its respective standard mode still valuable to do but in a way i do feel like the directed mode almost devalues easter eggs to some degree because literally if you know the completion rate of easter eggs is going to be like 70 percent then they aren't really special anymore in a way you can kind of see what i mean where completing some of the hardest main quests in zombies really does feel like an achievement and i feel like this main quest system is a double-edged sword because yes it's going to get more players into the game it's going to raise yeah. the accessibility and everybody's going to be able to enjoy it, but it also devalues the achievement and what it means to complete a zombie's easter egg in a way. And I don't think this is the same thing as gatekeeping. It's not like I don't want people completing main easter eggs and enjoying zombies to the fullest capacity. I think that's awesome, but it got me thinking about the concept of value of achievements in video games. And this might sound silly, but hear me out for a second. Why oh. are platinum achievements in video games even like commendable or something mm. that people care about? It's because, well, not everybody can do it, whether because they're not going to put in the time to get it or because maybe it takes a lot of skill. You know, one of those two components, maybe both sometimes is a factor. Platinum trophies on games are a real testament of dedication to a game and in some ways that's what zombies easter eggs were and black ops 6 seems to be maybe doing away with that a little bit with these yeah. guided modes and stuff like that now they have said that the actual quests themselves are much harder than cold wars easter eggs now i don't really know what that means in practical terms like is the gameplay going to be harder are the steps going to be more arbitrary i'm not really sure but they've said that the easter eggs will be harder than they were in cold war to complete which is an interesting idea and obviously playing it in the directed mode it's going to walk you through it's going to kind of cap the difficulty as well because you won't be able to pass the maximum amount of rounds until you complete certain steps but playing it in standard mode obviously you know it kind of takes the, gu the guardrails off a little bit but I, I also do feel like that they gotta get rid of like daytime we have so many daytime maps and they just don't don't feel that good maybe i'm the only one maybe i'm the only one thoughts i still think that there's a bit of a discussion to be had about this double-edged sword i think it's great for the accessibility sake that many more players are going to be doing main quests experiencing the story of I, I do feel like that if this was nighttime i think it would have been perceived a little bit better because uh, clearly the graphics are not looking that good either Plus, uh, it's daytime and feeling like multiplayer map. If it was nighttime and, and you had like the actual lights so from the building, because there was like one area where they could have had like colorful lights as well. It, it looked like a theater, right? Uh, if I see it, I'll point it out. But if this was nighttime, I think that it would have been received a little bit better. Of course, the HUD is ugly, but they're saying we can turn it off and you know change it i hope it's true i hope like there's no gotcha moment with that they say that you can have the hud looking like black ops 3 zombies we saw that it doesn't look like black ops 3 zombies either they said the hud will look like black ops 3 zombies but we saw the hud they showed us right like uh and it does not right it, it doesn't look like this is a real black ops 3 zombies hud and the one they showed it does not look like it maybe for maybe they're gonna change it after hearing the criticism maybe i hope they do i hope they make it look good but if this was nighttime, man, holy crap, like this could have been much better. Zombies and really getting into what the mode has to offer. But on the other hand, I do think there is a little bit of lost value in now making main quests something that's just everybody's going to be able to do. You know what I mean? Like they're not really achievements to wear as a badge of honor anymore. They're kind of just like a, a checklist thing that, yeah, you can go in and experience the story and you've done the main quest. Cool. And there will be different. Personally, okay, th this is his opinion and his criticism valid. 
I don't care about that. What he's saying is not wrong. It's true, but I I'm looking at the bigger picture here right now. I'm 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 just saying the map should feel like zombies. That's like priority number one. You know there are stages to it. First of all, let's fix the the map feeling like zombies then we'll, we can talk about like the other stuff right because right now i mean the map is not feeling like zombies so even if they walk people through with the easter egg or not walk them through that's not gonna matter because in the, it's gonna deplete the player base faster at least the og zombies fans they're not gonna like it and they are the ones that are complaining right now big time oh man i i played the older all the older zombie games right like look at that this is this was zombies back in the days bro <laughs> this was zombies back in the days man it was so good man it was like we all thought that it's gonna get better and better man and you know we're gonna keep on going we're gonna keep on going it's gonna it's gonna turn out to be something just you know what happens when we get playstation 5 what's gonna happen when we get playstation 6 oh man with the new technology with the modern warfare engine with the new engines in the future open world zombies maybe even right we're gonna, yeah we, we ended up getting outbreak and people hated it not everybody but some hated i did not hate it i think outbreak idea is brilliant they should keep zombies like run with zombies too and they can also have outbreak zombies as like one map too like maybe two maps uh, at launch for round base and then they can have outbreak uh, as well they could have done it bro they could have done it four years and four thousand deaths these seconds i don't know what these seconds were doing like were they just uh, smelling each other farts doing helicopters stealing stealing milk or something like that because they've done that back in the days they were they were stealing uh mommy's milk yeah like you know back but this is like three four years old at this point they were stealing milk back in the days and all that uh like spanking their female employees allegedly right there was a lawsuit with that i, I don't know what these seconds have been doing one map feels good right now and the other map is feeling like multiplayer like damn y'all seconds have four years years why can't we get two zombie maps and also outbreak as well like a big map right like damn why why can't we back in the days we would get way more content than currently though but Awards, whether you do it in directed mode or not, but it's not really the point, and I think you get what I'm saying. Treyarch have said that the maps are going to be loaded with side easter eggs, and the directed mode that will walk you through the main quest completely disables any side easter eggs in the map, meaning all of those other potentially depthful easter eggs that the map contains uh, will not be able to just be walked through and just be done using this directed mode system, which is a benefit, and I think that's a very good thing. Still leaving some depth to the mode, uh, I feel like is necessary if you're going to take main quests and kind of uh, sort of, I don't know, casualize them. I don't think that's the right word, but either way, it's not really the point. I think you get what I'm trying to say, uh, but enough about Easter eggs for now. I want to talk about just the core gameplay of Black Ops 6 Zombies because oh, this is a fundamentally important aspect. Just the bread and butter gameplay has got to be fun, man. I mean, I, I feel like yeah. older zombie games of the past have really fallen flat for me because, you know, all of this Easter egg stuff and whether the main quests are hard or not is totally irrelevant if the actual moment to moment gameplay is no fun. This was my biggest problem with Black Ops 4. Of all of the cool things in that game and potentially really awesome maps and gameplay sequences and Easter eggs and everything, I just really didn't like the core. They, they complicated the Easter eggs way too much in uh, black ops 4 zombies and they changed the hud as well like people just wanted a game similar to black ops 2 zombies black ops 3 zombies like same core principles but new story and new maps and fun gameplay that's it people don't want like the same old crap when people uh, yeah i do get that right oh so you just want the old crap no nah, it's not about the old crap it's just that people want the the feeling there but they want new stuff there right uh people are not people are not saying that they don't want new stuff but when the new stuff looks like this of course people not gonna like it it feels inferior to the older stuff that's basically the, the what's up right and, and this is why you keep hearing people say that they just want black ops 2 black ops 3 zombies like zombies they're not saying to remaster all these maps all they're they're just saying hey keep it the same core principle but with new story new maps and fun gameplay better graphics better gameplay this and that uh, maps uh, better maps as well bigger maps newer maps uh, some smaller maps too it's fine right but we just want like good quality we want the quality being like black ops 3 zombies and this is nine years old game and this still holds up to this day ladies and gentlemen absolute crazy uh crazy stuff but guys check out this video on the screen recently we had ps5 pro and gta 6 gameplay leaking out there check out this video on the screen if you already seen it then check out the video on the left where you got the homie emo blame truth man he going crazy on black ops 6 multiplayer uh and he's reviewing that we check that out we hear his complaints and all that check out both of these videos and i'll see you right